Hello, hello, and welcome to the video. Today, we're wrapping up the month of September. It's been a fun month, and I noticed at the beginning of it that there was this trend, if you haven't seen it or you don't know, Sword Timber, also Sword Timber 2024. That's been going around a lot, and I've been following a lot of people who have been making a lot of really cool art. It's been a month full of many, many, many swords. So I just wanted to talk about them and go through and review some of the swords and some of my favorites and just share some of that. And I, I did some of my own sword creations. I, did, I didn't do the whole daily thing. I felt like that was going to be a bit much and I had other stuff to work on. So I only drew a few swords and we'll take a look at those at the end of the video. But let's just get to this. This first one was uh, showing up from someone that I've been seeing a lot. They have been doing the daily art thing. I really like the slime blob thing and the skull that's lodged in there and that the, the face on the blob itself and you can see the broken sword inside it. I think that this is an excellent piece. I really like um, the color green and blobs and slime stuff and goo. I actually have a comic of my own called Blobs of Life, which is linked down in the description, and you can check that out if you want to uh, see some blobs doing some weird stuff in horror and supernatural scenarios. This was a really good one. I like this one a lot, the, the drill design. It's one of those things where I imagine a lot of these, like in the case of a video game and um, using it to fight off enemies. And this is one of those things that I think it looks cool, but I would probably never use it because it's obviously just a stabbing weapon. And I never really like stabby weapons. I like swinging the sword around like a lunatic. But the design is really cool. I love the exhaust vent and that it's like some kind of gas powered thing. It's got a gauge on there. I think this is a very fun design and it, it's really cool. This sword here I thought was impeccable design concept because you have that it is the ink sword, so that's the idea. You got the ink bottle, the ink shooting out, which is really cool. I love how it bleeds into the sword itself. And then you realize that the sword is the feather and it's the feather to the quill and you got the ink pen at the bottom. That it, That's just fantastic design and it fits thematically that the uh, pen is mightier than the sword kind of thing. It's a really, really cool. This is probably one of my favorites. We got a druid themed uh, sword here. It kind of looks like it's maybe a, a big dagger, but I guess it could be a sword too. I, I think druid stuff is cool. I love the, the lore and the idea of a druid and nature magic and stuff like that. I think it's really awesome stuff. And having what I imagine to be, yeah, it's bone design because you got the teeth on there and then it turns into the blade that's strapped on. Always a big fan of like nature magic and druids. Now I thought this one was a pretty fantastic design, kind of like the ink sword. I thought that one was A plus on design. I think this one's up there. I don't know if I would give it an A plus 100% because it's still, I don't know how in God's name you would use it. It looks like it's a sword that exists in a finite moment for sure. <laughs> but it does look very cool. I love the design of it. I love how they captured the liquid shooting out of the glass and that it has a cool sword shape to it and everything. I think it's great. And we got this resin sword. This one's really cool. Again, it's kind of like the first one I showed with, with the blob and it has like a slime face on it. I, I love that stuff. In this case, it's amber and the, the sword's made of wood. And this, I love the, the crack split going out of the hilt down the center of the blade. It's, this is great stuff. I figured I would go ahead and interject one of my art pieces here. I, I saw all these, these swords getting made and I really got motivated to partake in this. So I just kind of did this one as my first creation. I didn't have much of an idea other than I wanted to go with a nautical theme. And I got a, a combination of things. Like I definitely like the end result, but I think it's a little disjointed. I don't, I don't think it unifies into one theme very well. Um, but I like the shape of the sword. I love the face that I drew. I love the, oh my God, there's a fucking centipede monster on my fucking wall. All right, I'll see you after I burn my house down and we'll pick up the video from there. Yeah, so what was I talking about? Um, yeah, so I, I like the elements on the sword. I like the seaweed. I was kind of going for the seaweed where you also sometimes, if you ever go to the ocean or a lake or something like that, uh, and they have these globe things that have like a root system. It, it would clearly root itself into the, the floor of the ocean. 
or at least the shoreline, and I like the idea that this sword is just constantly producing water and it's just always wet. I'm pretty happy with each individual element on this sword, it's just like I said a matter of kind of a, a unifying harmony of themes and style. But let's go ahead and jump back into taking a look at some other people's creations. This was another cool one put out uh, earlier in the month. I thought this was a very cool design with the demon, and I love the brain material that's inside the base of the blade. That That is really cool. It almost starts to give me a little bit of a Doom vibe if you ever played the 2016 Doom or Doom Eternal, stuff like that. I think it just has a really awesome vibe to it, aesthetic with the demon handle and the, the long, crazy tongue. I love that shit. It's even got a little tiny feet sticking out the bottom of the hilt. Very cool cool shape, got some nice reflection, nice metal look to it, I love it. And it's t damaged at the tip, which is always great because I always like to make damaged art. I like things that are like broken, rusty, scratched, scuffed. The fuck is happening, dude? The fuck is, why can't I f All right, I don't know how to zoom in on this one. Uh, this one was really cool because it's one of the first animated ones that I saw and I, I did see a number of animated GIF sword images that I think were very, very cool. We got the, the GameCube, which really still to this day is like one of my favorite consoles that was ever made for games. I, I love the controller, I love the, the console itself and the games they put out. And you got you got Zelda and the Wind Waker traveling down the, the blade, and I think it's really cool stuff. I, I didn't even think about doing something like this, but in the future I, I need to try and do some animation to try and create some really cool uh, living art pieces like this. Man, I am really having a hard time with the web browser right now. This image doesn't seem like it's loading in full resolution. It looks a little bit blurry to me, but I think the design is very cool. I, I love the warped kind of uh, clinging blood situation as it goes down the blade and transfers to the other side. I, it's some kind of like ancient relic sword. Well, I mean, it says cursed relic, but I think they captured it great. I think it's really cool design, nice detail. I, I love everything about this. This is pretty sick, some pixel art. We got a pixel sword, kind of a retro style, kind of magic sword going on here. I think this is pretty cool. I, I like the variety. I've seen so many different swords uh, across this month and the amount of different creative designs that people come up with and it's inspiring. <sighs> I'm just, it, this is just me saying over and over, this is cool, 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 this is cool. Oh yeah, we got some people doing some lineups for the people who have been making a lot of swords and we've seen a couple of these. Uh, these are really cool designs. We got the, the resin sword on number 11 over there. And I really, really love the chainsaw situation. I'm not sure if that's based on something. Like, I don't know if that orange guy is a character from anything. I'm not familiar with it, if it is. But one way or another, it looks really cool. And then, as usual, I love anything octopus-related. Designs that incorporate tentacles, octopus stuff. On the far right, we got something that sings to me. I love that stuff. I'll never get tired of drawing that. I've heard other artists mention something about that, about drawing tentacles, and I, I think it's just because they look very cool. They're very visually interesting. They have a lot uh, as an artist, like, drawing it, I think it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of dynamic options of what you can do with it. it it's great. I, I'm never going to get bored. I'm not even criticizing the, the tentacle thing. It's just fun. All right, so I'm going to interject another one of my creations. I did a second sword, and I feel like this one went a lot better than the previous one. This one is a bit more unified in that theme, like I was saying, where it, it doesn't get too much going on, it's not too busy, and I, I wanted to do this cursed sword idea. I'd seen some other people do cursed sword type things, and I really liked the idea of creating a backstory, just a little blurb kind of thing, uh, describing my idea of what this sword is all about. This legendary artifact weapon is imbued with magical fire. Parts are constructed with a haunted living wax. Upon picking up the weapon, wax wraps itself around your hand in a warming embrace. The spirit inside calls to you. Magic allows the conversion of any organic material into wax. So there you go. Um, when I was making this sword, I also had not originally drawn the fire to be that color. It was one of those things where it exists on its own layer, and I had used a correction layer to adjust the hue, saturation, and stuff like that. 
and I played around with it. And then when I had passed through kind of the pinkish purple range, that really stuck out to me and caught my eye and made me go, ooh. <laughs> so I, I stuck with that color. I, I think it's really cool. I think it pops. All right, let's do one more look through online and see what, uh, what people are posting at the end of the month and see if there's anything else in there that really catches our eye. This caught my attention because of the background as well. I love the whole church steeple glass thing. I think that that architecture always looks awesome. I actually just got done playing uh, 40k Space Marine 2 and there, there's a lot of like space architecture that has to do with churches and stuff like that. And it always looks really awesome and I love that they did the, the background uh, light coming through the window on the back of the image in this one. It was very awesome. Nice touch. And right below that was another banger. I, I like this. I like sickles and scythes. I think this design is very cool. I love uh, bending the rules on like what's considered a sword, and there's been a lot of people doing stuff. I've seen one person who was creating a lot of spears that are like sword spears, and I think someone was doing scythes, and I think this is really cool. I love the, the face of the, the moon on the inside. I love the color choice with the dark. Uh, almost black color of the metal and the kind of bluish green glow to it. I love that color, that teal kind of color. Ooh, this is a good one. I like this. It's got like a muted color to it so it doesn't um, punch through too much and I don't know if I would say that they should punch the color or not. I think I like the desaturated color. I almost would maybe desaturate it a little bit more but I love the fucking design. I love the eyeballs embedded into the little pockets in the, the sinew that's on the bottom of the sword and then the gross little black balls of whatever that is at the top near the end of the blade. That's disgusting and I love it. Yeah, I found that image again, and this time it's actually loading correctly in high resolution. So I think I'll jump on to my final sword that I did for the month. And here we go! As I mentioned earlier, I had been playing 40k recently. I'm not super huge into the Warhammer universe, but I, I think the 40k stuff is pretty cool. All the things I've seen and I can watch videos on the lore of the universe, it's pretty brutal stuff and I can appreciate that. And I was playing Space Marine 2 and I love what they did with the art style in that game and all the environments and the weapons and you just gotta stick a skull on everything and that's great because who doesn't love a skull? Um, so I drew a chain sword from uh, the Warhammer universe, kinda made my own little spin on it. I, I put the um, sigils on the cloth or uh, paper that is mounted to the sword and made up some symbols that don't necessarily uh, pertain to anything. I don't know if they have any kind of developed language in the universe, maybe they do, but I'm not gonna go learn it. And, um, yeah, I, I thought this was really cool. I think I nailed the aesthetic that I was going for. I, I love the Warhammer universe, and I had a lot of fun drawing these swords. It, it's been a month full of swords, and I hope you enjoyed just talking about it, just talking about some art, taking a look at what other people are doing out there. And if you want to check out any of the artists, hopefully you can see um, their user tags on the side of the images that I showed. If you want to go show them support and love, leave some nice comments. Let them know you love their work. This stuff is hard work, but I love drawing it. I love participating in stuff like this. I, I thought the sword timber thing was a very fun uh, project to participate in as a artist community. I look forward to the coming month of October. It is fall, baby. We got Halloween coming up and I'm excited for that. I'll be making some more videos. And like I said before, I have a web comic you can check out with the coming month of Halloween. If you like horror or you're looking for anything spooky to check out, Go over to Webtoons, link in the description. It's a horror supernatural comic created by me, written by me, and I love it. It's a lot of fun. I have episodes every Friday. Check those out every Friday for free, and have a good day. Peace. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and make peace, cause soon you, you are.